Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. Today we'll be continuing the e-commerce series. In our previous video, we did this dashboard and roles navigation menus and just refactored this dashboard and roles page by creating our own card and container components. And in today's video, we will be showing the list of roles. The first two crowds will be a little bit slower and then we'll move very fast. The first will be roles crowd and second will be permission crowds. We'll create roles crowd first and then the permission crowd and there will be some duplicates. We'll be refactoring those and remove those duplicates. And now I would like you to introduce to this video sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you and you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server. And it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So without any further ado, let's get started. This is the roles controller. Now here I have to pass roles. And in my previous video, you have already seen that we have installed spicy roles and permission package, but we don't have any roles. So for that, let us create a roles seeder first. Roles seeder. It will be inside this database seeders folder. So by default, let us create super admin and content writer. Let us use these roles over here for each and generate the data. These roles as role and here we'll roll and we'll import this spacy permission models you can see it over here roles and create and then we'll say here name and it will be role like this and we'll go here in the database cedar we already had this user factory before the cedar now we'll do role cedar this call and we'll say here roles seeder now in the terminal we'll do php artisan migrate fresh seed we'll just drop all the tables and again seed and you can see here database seed completed successfully and if i come here and just refresh then i'll see here super admin and content writer roles now let us go to the roles controller over here and now we have to pass the roles over here so i'll just do here roles equals to role which is this spacy permission model roles and i'll say here latest id i'm just using id in the latest because it will be a lot faster instead of using created at paginate and i'll just do 10 over here we'll just use paginate everywhere else because in the future we'll have many data and we don't want to show every each and every data at once and here roles now we'll not pass these roles directly over here we'll create a resource so i'll do psp artisan make resource role resource now let me search for role resource it will be inside here app http resources and role resource you can see here the folder path as well now here we'll return some data so we'll do here id this id this resource will map one on one with the model we have the model which is coming from the spacy permission package we have a role model here the name is role resource so it will look into this role model now if i do here this id then it will take the id from the role model and we also have a name this name like this let me show you over here id name and we also have this guard name and we'll only use one guard in this series so we don't have to worry about it there is also this created ad i'll show you this a little bit later but for now let me just write here created at like this and we don't need to show updated at to the user so we'll not write over here now how to access this role resource we can just go here like this role role resource collection and we have to pass roles like this this roles is this models collection whatever we get from this result 
Now let's see in the front end how we get this data. We are passing this data as roles in the role index. We have this role index page over here. Now if I come here and refresh and, and let me show you over here view, we can see this roles data over here, but we are seeing this inside this ATTR, but we want to access it as a prop. So we'll go here and I'll say here, define props and here will be roles and by default it will be if you see here this roles is object and it has data and links and meta property so here i'll object like this and default it will be an object like this now if i come here and refresh the page and again we are seeing this here in the attrs because i forgot to run npm run watch now if i come here and refresh the page you can see that the roles is under the prop. Now let us show these roles in a table. For that, I'll go here in this tailwindelements.com and source for tables. You can just go over here and source for table like this and click here. Then you'll get, just go at the bottom, then you'll get here this responsive table. Just copy this code, just copy from here and it is absolutely free. We'll create a table component. Let me just take it to the right. Here inside this components, I'll create table, table slash table dot view component because we'll have table header, table TD and table actions as well inside this table folder. That's why I'm creating this table dot view inside this table folder. So view three setup and I'll just paste that code over here. And let me just minimize this and remove this code code this flex we don't need it now we have this thing over here but this is a static table and we want to make it dynamic for that let me just remove all these ts from here and we'll only add this single ts and also let me remove all these tds from here and we'll only have one td like this now we'll make this dynamic so let us create th dot view component view three setup and i'll just copy this thing and paste it over here and instead of has i'll do slot whatever we pass inside the th component it will be available here so here i'll do th like this and here i'll do test like this you can see here it is looking much more cleaner because we don't have to write all these classes over here and if we have many headers, then also it will look very, very clean. This is a table component. So we have to pass headers from outside. That's why we will be accepting it as props. So we'll say here, define props like this headers. It will be an array and by default, it will be an empty array. Now here I'll do V for header in headers and our key will be header dot label. We'll pass this label from outside this table component and here it will be error dot label this is done now we have this td table element so let us create that td dot view as well so i'll just generate this setup and go just here and paste the code over here and instead of cell we'll write slot and here i'll use td and test column and we also have to import these things over here, okay? Import th from at the rest slash components slash table slash th. And similarly, we'll do the same thing for td like this. And if we go here in the index, now we have to use that table component over here. So I'll just do table like this. And here, let me just add this at the top like this and here import table from components table table we are using this and now we have to pass headers the prop this header will get it from the server so here headers and it will be an array we will pass it from this roles controller so it will be headers and the first thing that we will show is this label which will be name 
and we will also do name over here which will be name and always make sure to write whatever the name of the database column over here because we will be using this name key to sort that table column in the future and let us also show the created at like this and suppose if you have used joins in your controller over here whenever getting this rules over here here then you can just do here like this roles dot created at for now we are only using roles table so it will be fine so these are the headers we are getting these headers here and we are passing these headers to this table component we have also imported this table component over here and if we go here inside this table component then we are also accepting the headers over here as an array and just looping through the headers and showing this label over here and in the td we have just written test column let me save it come here where is my here so let me just refresh over here then you can see here i am getting this test column the name and created at are coming from the server itself and if i show you over here these are the headers that we are getting and these are the roles that we are getting now let's see how to show this td we have to go here inside this table and this thing and for each and every table this thing will be different so we cannot write this inside the table component we have to write this outside it so i'll do here slot like this and i'll go here in this index and here i'll just pass it like this and we have to import this thing over here like this and here the first thing will be role dot name and we also have to loop over here we have to do roles dot data over here because if you see here all the roles are actually inside this data key and key will be role dot id and we have already written role name and we have to write here role created at like this and also we'll have another which will be actions which will contain edit and delete actions like this and also let us pass that from here actions like this and we can write here actions or just pass null from here or don't pass anything later on we'll also have sortable field over here and if we pass here true then it will be sortable otherwise it will not be sortable and in case of actions we will pass sortable as false now let us refresh and we can see here like this actions is over here like this and it is over here like this so we have to go here in the roles resource we'll do here created at formatted and this when this created at and here we'll do return this created at day date time string i'm passing here the second parameter as a closure because let's say sometimes you forgot to pass created at from the role controller since I am not writing here any select statement, I am getting everything from the roles table. But if I just do here select, we have to do it, okay? We must never ignore this select method. So here will be id name and created at. It will only select these things. Every other things will not be selected and our application will consume less RAM. So here I have id name and created at. And suppose let's say I didn't select or pass here created at and just wrote this over here like this then created at would be null and it would try to access this on a null and it will throw an error because even if we pass here when it is just checking if there is created at then only do this but even though we do this this thing is being passed as a value so it will be executed so we cannot do it like this we have to pass it as a closure and let me just copy this and go here inside this index and created at formatted and let me just go here and refresh and it says day date time string let me just go here oh yeah we also have this two two day date time string let me just refresh over here and we'll get this very pretty day date time string and you can see here we just created components for this table td and th but now let us just think twice if we do listing for the permissions then again we have to write this and we also have to remember this border b class again so this is not an optimal solution 
For that, there is a concept called scoped slot enthusiast. We'll be using that. For that, we have to go inside this table. And here we have slot. We will be looping through the data inside the table. So for that, we have to pass here items like this and we'll pass roles. And here it will be items. It will be an object and by default, it will be empty object. Now here, let me just copy this thing from here and paste it over here and close this tr and now instead of role we'll write here item because we'll be using this for roles permission users and every other things and here we'll do item item like this we are passing this item as a prop to this slot if we do this then we'll be able to use this item outside of this table component which is here in this index component now here we can do template and here we can access it like this b dash slot and we'll be able to access it like this item like this and let me just move these to the top and i can now remove these things instead of role we'll write here item and let me format it so you can see here now it looks so much cleaner than before. We don't have to remember any class name now. You cannot see any class over here. Doesn't it look awesome guys? Just let me know in the comment section below if you like this structure. And now if I just save it and come in the browser and refresh, then we can see the same things over here. And in the console also, there is no any error. This is just a 404 error because there is no fib icon over here. Okay. Everything is working perfectly fine. And here also we have all this props data. So here we have successfully created table component, TD, TR and scoped slot to access the data. Now we also need to work on these actions. Most of the time we'll have here edit and delete icons over here. So let us do that. We'll create actions inside this table because it will be inside the table actions dot view and here we'll have one div and button like this we'll have two buttons one for the edit and one for the delete we'll go here in this hero icons and search for edit copy svg let me go here inside this components and let me create here icons and edit dot view I'll paste it over here, format it and remove this class. Now here, edit like this. We have to import it. Import edit from components, icons, edit.view. Similarly, we will have this delete icon, which is trash. And let me just go here inside this icons and create trash.view and paste it over here and delete this class from here. Let me also import that trash from here and here in the bottom, I'll write here trash component. Now in both of these, I write class like this W4 and H4. Now let us import this action inside this index and it is actions and let me import this here like this. We have this actions. And for this edit icon, we need a link. When we click on this, it should take us to the edit page. And in case of trash, we don't need a link because when we click on it, it will show a pop-up. And when we click on delete, then it will submit a form which will actually delete the item. In inertia.js, we have this link. We'll import it and we'll just use that link. And let me add this edit inside this link. And we have this href over here. And whenever we click on this link, then it will not reload the page. We'll say here, edit link. Now we have to accept this as a prop. Edit link will be the string for us. And we have to pass it from here over here. For now, I'll just leave it blank. And in the coming videos, we'll just be passing all this data from the server as we have passed these from this controller like this headers, okay? Or we can just use route method on the javascript that is coming from the ziggy and oh yes i also forgot to show you one thing so let me just go to blade.php there is this route and it will just make a route function in the javascript by which we can access all the routes of the laravel similar to that of the route function 
in the Laravel. And this inertia is just rendering some div inside the HTML with the ID as an app and inertia will use this to swap the components that we have passed from the controller. I have actions over here and inside the actions I have this link and trash. And sometimes we may need to show edit icon and sometimes we may not. So in that case let us define some other props. So here I'll say here show edit and it will be boolean and by default it will be false and so so delete and it will also be boolean and by default it will be false i'll do here b dash i f so edit and i think we should make it by default true and here will be b if so delete and here let me just give some classes flex items center space x let's give it Two. and let me save it come here and refresh then we can see here this edit and delete okay if i come here here in the roles controller sorry not here but here in the index and if i just do here so delete false like this and come here and refresh then we will not be able to see this delete icon and it will be very useful for us we can set a permission to a user so that he or she will not be able to view this delete or edit button then we can just pass it from here or inside this item then it will be invisible to that specific user so guys i think we have learned a lot in this video and video is getting too long so i'll stop here in the next video i think we'll be looking at deleting or some of the crowd operations other than listing or we can just work on this pagination thing as well so that's it for today guys thank you for watching have a great day bye